Hi everyone, this is going to be my first video and it's going to be a get ready with me style of video. First I'm going to apply e.l.f. eyelid primer all over my eyes and I already taped the corner of my eyes to get a really crisp line. I'm taking an eyeshadow that matches my skin tone and applying it as a highlight so I can blend easier later. I blended two orange blushes together to get an orange shade that I really liked. In a lot of these clips, I'm going in with a small crease brush and a big fluffy brush to really pack on the color. I'm applying Foxy from the Naked Basics palette onto my brow bone just to blend and highlight at the same time. Now I'm going with, in with Faint, also from the Naked Basics palette, in my crease to add a little dimension so it's not all flat. Next I'm going in with Crave on my outer corner. You can totally skip this step, but I like a really dramatic line, especially with the tape there. It, just looks really crisp and I like that. Right here I'm just blending, blending, and blending. And then I'm just highlighting with Venus. I'm going to do my winged eyeliner with the e.l.f. liquid liner. I like it and it's really inexpensive. The tape also really helps at getting a very crisp winged liner. If you're a beginner, it's going to be super easy for you. And then just tight line your eye. I'm going to use the Benefit Their Real Mascara to really blend in my fake eyelashes with my real ones. This is my favorite step because I love the eyelashes. I'm going to take the orange shadow we used on the lid and run it across my bottom lash line to give a little pop. Especially for blue eyes, it looks amazing. You can use any primer you like. Today I'm trying out the e.l.f. the green face primer. Um, it looks like guacamole. <laughs> I'm going to use the beauty blender today with my foundation. Some days I use a brush, some days I use my beauty blender. It's up to whatever you want. My beauty blender looks really disgusting, but it's kind of expensive, but I think it's really worth it. And my skin has never looked as good as it does with the beauty blender. I had to have been a pop star in my past life with those moves. <laughs> I like a highlighted under eye, so I tried out the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer, and I didn't really like it. It kind of just disappeared into nothing when I put it on. So I went back in with my NYX concealer, and I think it works really well, and it's really full coverage. I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer to really bronze up my face anywhere that the sun would normally hit. It makes my face not so one dimensional and flat looking. I'm using a rose colored blush from the BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette. It's also where I use the orange for my eyes from. 
If you use a little too much blush like I just did, you can go in with your face powder and just blend that right out. I'm going to highlight with Venus from the Naked Basics palette. You can use any shimmer white that you like or even a matte white. For my lips, I'm lining with Jordana Easy Liner in the color Tawny. I think it's pretty natural looking. It matches my lips almost. Um, if you wanted to, you could just stop with a lip liner and I think the color really complements the eyes. But I like to go a step further. I'm using a NYX Wonder Pencil to really clean up the lines around my lips because sometimes I get out of control. For my lips, I'm using the new Maybelline Matte Collection. This is a Divine Wine. I think it's perfect for fall. And if you don't want to go too dramatic, I think this is a really nice, like, dark red for your lips. I don't know where these faces come from. <laughs> and that's the makeup. My flannel is from Target and so is the orange undershirt. I think the back detail is super cute. The leggings are from Victoria's Secret and my socks are from Target. My boots are from Burlington Coat Factory and they're the brand Wanted. I've had them for probably a little over a year and they're still in amazing condition. And that's my outfit. Thank you for watching, and if you like it, please subscribe and let me know what, anything else you would like to see.